Hey everybody, Propway1 here, and today I wanted to just do my video of the stuff I was able to grab at the 50% off sales for both Spirit Halloween and this year for Party City. Now I just quickly want to mention that tonight is still November 1st, the, at least the night I'm recording this, and Spirit Halloween is still open for one more day. I don't think I'm going to go back and grab anything else because I pretty much grabbed everything I wanted. However, if I do end up going back to grab something else, I will be sure to add a clip at the end of this video. However, I do not think so, so I believe this is going to be everything that I get at the sale for 2020. So getting started, I was able to grab two Try Me buttons, which I thought are pretty cool because they don't sell them anymore, really. Uh, the Trick or Treat Flaming Pumpkin to go along with Sam. This leftover roaming antique clown doll. However, the batteries just died because all it does now is it says you. Yeah, so his batteries are dead. I'll replace those. But I know he works because he was working fine at the store. Uh, Doug and Phil DeGrave I was also able to get. They don't have any of their price tags or anything. But uh, I was still able to get them. And they're worth like 20 some dollars I spent. Then I got the Trick or Treat, the Rules of Halloween sign. I just thought this would have looked super cool by my door or something. And I really like the design of it. I think it looks super cool. Then moving on to some of the big stuff. I was able to get to get a live animals crate from the themes. I, they were present in both the cave and the island. However, I did get the cave to support sewer varmint. Now, I really, really liked sewer varmint going through this season. However, I just knew it, it would have been the smart move to wait to get him at the sale because I had a hunch that he'd be left and sure enough, he was. So I was able to get sewer varmint at the 50% off sale and I was also able to grab the sewer varmint price tag as well as punctured Pete's price tag. I really wanted to get Punctured Pete during the sale, but all of my stores had sold out of him, which is really no surprise. So naturally, I was unable to get Punctured Pete. Drifting away from the spirit stuff, I was able to go to Party City and grab my probably my second or third favorite techie prop of 2020, which is Lady of the Grave, or just the Rising Ghost Woman. Now, I think this prop is super cool, and it is probably one of my favorite non-spirit props. Uh, definitely of this year. And honestly, probably, I don't know if I'd say of all time, but she's definitely a very, very, very cool prop that is not being sold at Spirit this year. And finally, I was able to get the Reaper's Island banner from the theme. I'd love to show it to you guys on my wall, but I just don't have it hung up yet. But uh, as you can see, whoa, crap. There it is, Reaper's Island. There were a few other things I was able to get, however, those aren't really necessarily, like, scary. They were more kind of family-oriented stuff that I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to get them so I could decorate the house with them next year and for years to come. So, that's it, everybody. This is everything I was able to get at the 50% off sale. I'm not going to be doing an unboxing on either of these two, however, I do plan to have the demo and review up, well, eventually. So thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for more coming soon. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and goodbye.